everybody and their neighbor. Welcome back to Gear and Gigs. I'm your host, Jet Stone. So glad you could stop by today. We are together, me and Reg, in this virtual studio to show you some fun stuff today. Kind of a little uh, just for the heck of it show. We're going to be doing how to make your guitar not sound like a guitar. Why would you want to do that? Well, <laughs> I got the perfect guy to talk about that with me. Reg, say hi to everybody. Hi to everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. Because without him, where would I be? He's uh, the guy right that, that's right, <laughs> right still there. Be right here. That's true. But let's not go there here. The point of it all is Reg is really into alternate sounds. He likes experimentation. He likes changing and warping sounds into something unrecognizable from its original source, be it a sawtooth square wave combo in a synthesizer or a bass that he makes sound like uh, well, a synthesizer or or the voice of doom or whatever. So we're going to uh, see what we can do with some pedals today. So we're going to save you guys the trouble of seeing all the rewiring and that kind of stuff. Uh, we'll do a two or three pedal setup, tell you what we're doing, let you listen to the sounds. We're, Reg and I are going to alternate with suggestions. Uh, he might get to guess occasionally on what it is if I do a particularly interesting sound like the one I got cooking over here. And... Uh, you know, just sit back and relax and see what you think of some of these sounds. Maybe it'll spark an idea, make you think of something you hadn't thought of. We're going to find some creative uses for pedals you probably got anyway. And maybe some pedal ideas to get you hadn't thought of that might suit the bill. So, you know, we're not going for perfection here. We're going for experimentation, some fun, some new sounds, and some ideas. Reg, are you on? Are you on board with this? I'm on board with this, and I just, I'll just i just mention that uh, going for perfection is usually a setup for failure anyway. That's right. So I, it's like I try to avoid that at all costs. Well, we, are, we, we have never successfully achieved it, so I think we're safe. I think we are. But, but if we get there, somebody, you know, let us know in the comments. We're gonna go in stereo today because you know some of the weirdest sounds can be in stereo. It doesn't mean you gotta run them in stereo. They still sound great in a mono, but you know, why not, right? So we've got two tube microphones today, one over here, and I don't know if you can see it back there, one right there behind me, uh, on two different boogie amps, a, a Triple Crown 50 and a California Tweed. Uh, if you have uh, watched the show before, you know we like these amps real well. Uh, we've got both set on a very clean sound, which I'll let you hear. We're going into, into the pedals, whatever, pedals we pick we're going into those directly and then splitting at the last one if it's stereo and going into both amps today's guitar of choice is going to be one that i don't don't think i've played on the show before it's probably my favorite guitar in the whole world and it's in uh, the intro though it is in the intro briefly it is in that's the intro. true there that's true so it's, the intro, and I'm like there it is yeah dredge likes this one he, I do. That's one of my favorite PRS yeah. guitars ever. Yeah. This was uh, custom painted by a guy down in Australia who was kind enough to send it to me. And uh, man, it has quickly become uh, one of my favorites. Uh, I've had it for a few years now. And uh, one of the really interesting things about it, besides you know the crazy paint job in, in sparkles, it's blue sparkle on the back, by the way, with a silver sparkle binding, uh, is it, it has Lawler filter trons in it. So it's very different, not doesn't sound at all like a PRS really. Uh, and they're a different shape and size slightly than humbuckers. So a lot of work had to be done to even make them look normal. So that was kind of cool. And uh, and it's got a five-way switch. The, the original five-way uh, PRS uh, is a custom 24 uh, originally. Uh, and I'm not sure exactly what the splits are. Obviously the three main positions are there, but the other two, I'm not exactly sure how they accomplished that with these pickups. Uh, and then it has the original sweet switch from the PRS back in the day. That's what they used to do. So I think this is like a 1990, maybe 89, 90, 91, somewhere in that era. But anyway, there's enough on that guitar. That's what I'll be playing. So it won't sound like a PRS. Might, might sound closer to a Gretsch. Um, maybe. Maybe. But actually what it's going to sound like is hopefully not a guitar at all, or at least not, not a regular guitar. It's got a volume pedal at my feet. I've got a, a Morley power volume down there. It's just not boosting or anything. It's really just using it as a volume control because one of the best ways to not sound like a guitar is to change the envelope of the guitar. So that's going to be method one is changing the envelope of the guitar and a volume pedal immediately does that. It starts to sound more like a cello or more like a violin or that kind of thing because you're hitting your note and swelling it in so it doesn't have the initial attack, it doesn't have the pick or finger attack, and suddenly you're, the ear is tricked into thinking, well, that's not a guitar, what is that? So our dry signal sounds like...
I would never in a million years think, oh, that's a that's a filter trying to quit PRS. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's. I mean, knowing what it is makes it harder to kind of imagine right. what, it, what it isn't. Right? <laughs> <laughs> hang on, um, hang on. Let's let everybody read that because that was great. That's yeah. a, that's one of those classic Reggie quotes we like to call out. All right, moving on. You were saying, ah, uh, but uh, but at any rate, it's a great sounding guitar. It is a nice sounding whatever guitar. it may you know hybridization of it all. It is. It's just a great sounding guitar, and uh, as as well as a stunning looker. Well, you either like it's a love or hate relationship. Right. Trey, one of our other co-hosts, uh, yeah, he hates this guitar like the plague. He thinks this. Oh, well, you know what? Don't give, don't give it to him. <laughs> that's it. You're just He's not don't. getting it now. Like that's, that's it. it. Yeah. Just take yeah. him right off the list. He, he does not like it, but he does like the sound of it. You know, so that's the thing. Or he loves the sound. He just doesn't. Yeah, just doesn't like. Very playing. crisp. Very clean. Yeah, very. He loves PRS. Like, I think mm -hmm. so. Or he likes PRS. Ah, he loves PRS. He sells a million PRSs. He loves PRS. <laughs> I'm sure he does. All right. Anyway, enough on the silly guitar. Let's move on. And, you know, if ever a guitar was silly, I would think this would qualify. Let's move on to the pedal. So I'm going to play the sound. Reg, I know you can kind of see the side of this one, but you're not super familiar with this pedal, so you might not know what it is anyway. So I'm going to play a sound. You, you, you let me know what you think is going on here, okay? Okay. All right. whole lot going on there um and i'm going to take a stab at that pedal first of all that first one is that is that that maris synthesizer -y pedal it is it's the maris enzo which okay. is we're going to start out by cheating and just getting well, a I guitar mean, synthesizer that, like, pedal in there it sounded like there was a lot of different things going on lfos and pitches and you know just all kinds of craziness and uh, and i know that pedal does a great deal of craziness it does. And so that's that's one way to do it. Get a guitar synth pedal, and there's lots of them out there. There's lots of guitar synth systems. Obviously, that's a good way to do it. I could blend in guitar. I have it set on full mix right now, but we could blend in guitar with that, and that gets some nice layers, that kind of thing. So uh, what I have running in the front of this, Reg doesn't know that I have, but it is one of his favorite pedals, the Rainbow Machine. Rainbow Machine, okay. I take all of his recommendations quite seriously, and uh, he has recommended this pedal for... <laughs> Every day okay. since he got it, I think. Yeah, for a few he, years. He loves this pedal. Yeah. This and the Super Ego are one of his, uh, two of his uh, absolute favorites. And uh, I don't have that one yet, but I do have this one here at the studio. So we're trying it out the Rainbow Machine, which does some wild, crazy stuff on its own. I'll let you hear the components of that. So here's just the Rainbow Machine. Yeah, yeah I like the pitch down. Now, if I mix that in with a little volume pedal, just by itself already, we're not sounding very right. guitar-y. And a sense of space can often change your perception of whether it's a guitar, because a guitar feels like an intimate instrument. So I'll mm -hmm. kick up the reverb on both these amps. craziest chorus ever. I don't know what I would think that was, but pump organ would be a, a earlier guess than electric guitar. I would jump right for Rainbow Machine. I'd go, oh yeah, that's, that's a, the Rainbow Machine. That's a oh. Rainbow Machine there. That's All right, so we're turning that off, and here's the Enzo that's sound. Pink lever. Enzo sound that I had on. All 
kinds of weird modulated delays going on There's and then all kinds other of stuff things. with it. It's like, yeah, that pedal is just... Uh, it's crazy. That's and that's one out sound out of a hundred sounds that are... Right, and that's what I was going to say is um, you mentioned there, you know, there's dozens and dozens of synth pedals on the market. Um, I mean, Electro Harmonics makes a series of the nine series that you do Mellotron, right, right. That's true. Organs, or organs, or electric nine. pianos, or synthesizers, mm-hmm. and all Those are good stuff. ways to do it, yeah. Uh, and those are, not, and those are inexpensive pedals, too, and they generally give you... Uh, you know, a pretty good uh, variety of different sounds. You don't have a, a lot of control over each one, but but they're all, you know, tailored to that one sound, and then the controls are tailored to... Mellotron on the keyboard was really those. pretty good. And yeah. uh, I'll tell you what, those, you know, for the money, that's hard to beat is that series. But my God, there, there are literally so many synth pedals. Um, just about everybody makes one, right? Just about. That being said, this is one of my favorite ones. Uh, I remember uh, listening through a bunch of these. We didn't even go through all of it, but uh, we went through a bunch of it. It was like, it was one amazing thing after the next. It was like, holy moly. But then again, that's kind of, uh, that comes down to how um, how far digital technology has come over the years, how it sounds and, and what you can do with it. It's amazing. So I think we've established you can make your guitar sound like not a guitar by using a synth synth pedal or right? even the rain machine by the rain machine, which is kind of a synth pedal in its own way. Although it's you know it specifically does one thing. It's it's a pitch shifting delay coursey thing. Sounds like one thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, it kind of does all those things at the same time. You know, it's yeah. like, it's a, it's it's a, a one thing. trick, three trick, five trick pony. Right? It's a tasty little sucker, though. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's that. That's the extreme. We're starting at the top. We're starting at the, right. like, the obvious. You start there. So Make a guitar, so- not sound like a guitar. Use a synth pedal or something crazy like a rainbow machine. Right. All right. So... Let's uh, let's take a suggestion from your majesty, sir. Okay, you know what? Um, I assume you have some kind of uh, wondrous little delay pedal. I do. I'm looking okay, at what one do we right got now? for choices for delay? What do sort you, of a delay are you looking for? Uh, you know, something that's got some, uh, maybe a modulated delay, but something that's got, you know, like a second or more of delay time. Okay, all right. Okay, and then uh, feeding into that, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, some sort of... Uh, you know one of those like phasers or flanger pedals that'll go just a little bit further than you would normally want to go? Phaser or flanger. Okay. Yeah. And I think those two pedals, assuming we're going to keep... Um, although, you know, it would be really kind of funny would be um, in between those two if you have some kind of uh, amazingly cavernous reverb. In between those two. Mm-hmm. So, I'm oh, sorry, can you go over the, the chain delay. again so you'd like a yeah. delay first? Or no, delay no, last? delay last. Delay last. Cameras so, reverb before the delay. Right, and phaser flanger first. Phaser flanger. Phaser or flanger. Phaser or flanger. Yeah, something that'll get, you know, a little bit crazy. What about a... Uh... Okay, all right, I got something. I got something. Okay. Uh, we With the magic of editing, we will be right back. And we're back. All right. So here we go. How does he do it? I, I know. Just... The wonders of technology. Okay. So Reg wanted a phasery, flangey thing. So we have his other favorite pedal, the Bigtronics Envelope Phaser. Oh, there you go. Great phaser. Yeah. Right. Love that phaser. Uh, I've got the envelope thing in right now, but you could tell me how to set it. I've just got a setting I picked that I thought was sounded pretty cool. I've got the, uh, <laughs> this is the show of Reg's favorite pedals. I've got the uh, TC Electronics Arena for my reverb here. Okay. And then I have the Wampler Metaverse for your modulated delay. Okay. All that- of which uh, have been used in recent shows. Uh, we did a, a few, uh, I'll put some links up above so you guys can check those out if you like. Uh, we did the envelope phaser on bass. So this is going to be something a little different for the, using it on guitar. So that'd be kind of cool. All right. I still got my volume pedal down below. And still the same two amps. All right, so here's our dry sound. 
Oh, I forgot about all that reverb. We got turn a lot of reverb on there. We turn probably that don't need that anymore. Don't need, don't need that. I'll turn that all the way off, in fact. Thank you. All right. So, I, all right. Let's try that again. There you go. That's nice and dry. Where is the reverb pedal set on right now? Uh, well, let's see. It's, uh, it's set on a church. Church with a short decay. You want something ridiculous? Go a little bit ridiculous. I think it has a modulated uh, reverb on it somewhere near okay. 12. I uh, see that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and then, yeah, roll the roll the decay like either all the way up or nearly all the way up just to see. Okay, what about the uh, uh, pre-delay? Long, short, medium? Uh, you know, with the, having already having the long delay after it, I think you can the pre-delay can be short. Okay, what about the phaser? Um, Fast, slow, what are you looking for? Uh, slow is good, but maybe just uh, uh, a little more intensity. Okay, more resonance, more depth, less, uh, less or more envelope. You got both on? Is it phaser and envelope or just the envelope? Uh, they're both and they're linked, I believe. Yeah, the blend is on. I can turn the blend off if you like. Ah uh, no! Leave the blend on. Just just give it more intensity and and uh, a little okay. more resonance, because it's because it's going into a couple of crazy pedals after that. So I'll invert it. We'll see what that does. Okay. All right. So, uh, can I use my volume pedal? Yes, absolutely. It's, Thank you, Dad. It's not cheating anymore because you're right. There's other ways of doing it. Yeah. Okay, that's that's pretty cool right out of the gate. It's yeah. like angels came into the room. It's like, yeah. whoa. Of course, I'm right between the two amps, so it's pretty stereo y. Stereo y. Stereo y is the word, yes. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's uh, that's what we're going for in this show. That kind of thing where it's like, that's beyond guitar. Maybe beyond guitar is better than not guitar. Those those are not unusual pedals uh, by any means. I no, mean, it's a basic modulated delay, which means there's just a little chorus or flangey kind of thing on the on the echoes themselves. It's a modulated reverb, which means there's a chorus or a flangey sort of thing on the reverb, and then there's a phaser, which is a modulated filter essentially with a filter envelope that's reacting to how hard i play so it changes depending on the note but i'm only hitting in so far <laughs> one time you know so we're not getting the benefit of that too much but nonetheless it's nothing out of the ordinary yeah no no nothing it's not like uh like you said these are probably pedals people have anyway or something along those lines i mean you mm -hmm. can get a modulated delay by having a delay in a chorus or a flange pedal two different pedals will give you that modulated delay if you don't have one a lot of these delays like a tape delay will give you something to do wow and flutter or tape age a lot of that stuff can also they do pitch modulation it might be more mm -hmm. random but nonetheless it will still do a lot of that same kind of thing so there's different ways to, to accomplish this but just as an idea that combination that's the kind of thing you can get i'll try one more set in here and then we'll move on to another sound good recommendation
very it's ethereal. Very, very ethereal. It is. It's 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 got that real kind of trippy, spacey, and uh, and, and the thing is, it's like when I started thinking, oh, what three pedals would I put together to make something crazy? I assumed that it would be um, kind of out of control crazy, right? I was thinking, oh, if we put the reverb in the middle, so then the, the reverb is before the delay, right? That's why I thought it was an interesting choice. The, I'm like, really? Okay, but yeah. It's it's working. Um, it's, it's working really well. Um, but like I said, it's, it's so much more uh, beautiful than it is crazy. Yeah, well... Well, thank you. I'd like to think it was the way it was put. No, you know, it was. Well, yeah, I mean, you have to be careful with it because anything you hit goes forever. Right. <laughs> you know, but but it's inspiring. It makes you. Th- yeah, it's, it, it's I mean, nice. you hear the chords I, like I was it. doing. It was like, oh, I have to do an angelic chord. I can't just do some regular chord. It's got to be, ooh, ah. We have to feel lifted the whole, yeah. I wanted to put something on that, though. Put a beat and get a bass player doing some something, and then bring some distorted guitar on top of it with some strings behind. Yeah, I had a whole production in mind. So, okay, that'll be the end of the show. I got to go record that. <laughs> right, time to make a record. Time for music. Don't forget to make music, people. It's not just about the gear; it's also about the gigs, gear and gigs. Remember that. Um, yeah. Okay, my More. turn. My turn. I okay. Gotta come up with something, and you got to guess what it is. Oh, I got to guess. See, yeah, you, you don't, don't have to guess, guess on this one. You know. I well, yeah. 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 It's okay. Right, it, so. it's, it's halfway fair. <laughs> That's the worst kind of fair. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. You ready? We're going to go. Right. And we're back. All right. Ah, he did it again. I just don't know how you do it. Yeah. So I don't want to tell you what, what, what's going on. I just want you to listen, see if you can guess. But there's four pedals involved. All right. Four pedals. That'll make it a little more challenging, but okay. I haven't listened to the sound. I've just said it based on... Theory. It's just a theory, Captain. It's never been tried. Okay, um, it's a little complicated. You know how um, wine or coffee or whatever, and a, g- a good cup of wine or a, g- a good cup of coffee or a good glass Pepsi or oh. a Pepsi or whatever has all these uh, different flavor notes, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. And, it's, uh, and it's hard to distinguish because they're all kind of coming at you. This is kind of what it feels like. It's like, like uh, I'll try to dissect it. It's like I hear some sort of coral flangey sort of thing. Okay. So some kind of coral flange. I know there's a delay at probably if not the end, pretty near the end. Um, but the, what the other two might be, I'm not sure. Okay, some uh, some kind of uh, tremolo um, as well as the corally flange. Thank <laughs> you. 
Have I got three out of four? So you said a delay, which I don't know why you'd say that. Hang on, wait, let me look, look these echoes fade out. <laughs> okay, so delay. Uh, you said a uh, coarsey, flangey thing. Mm -hmm. And you said a tremolo. Uh -huh. Okay, there's four pedals though. Right, so that's three. That is three. Are and the fourth three? is actually a duplicate because there's two delays. Oh, two delays, okay. One on each side, but you can't tell because it's got a stereo tremolo that does panning. Right. So you, and so what I've got is the TC Electronics uh, Gold Edition Flanger Chorus. So sometimes it was chorus and sometimes it was flange. Right, okay. So you were right. <laughs> you were exactly right half the time twice. Um, wow. I know. That's, all, that's like three times, I think. Tremolo, we've got the, uh, it's, uh, is it the, uh, it's the Dunlop Tremolo, stereo tremolo pedal. Sounds very tuby. Uh, it's gigantic though, and it does stereo panning. So I've got the output of each one of those going to a different delay. One going to the Dakota County uh, uh, from Sioux Guitars, and uh, the Boomer, the Boonar, excuse me, which is a re recreation of the Echo Rec, if I'm not mistaken, and that's by Donner Prince Electronics, and that's on one side, and then the the others on the other, set to full mix, full full delay. So, right, you know, combine that which is kind of key, else. like when you're when you're talking about like if you're really trying to change the envelope, change the envelope. Uh, clean guitar tone, you're going to give it away. <laughs> you're just going to give it away. Like, well, there's right. the guitar tone right there. Um, so yeah, w doing it that way kind of hides that a lot better. And that was uh, also very dreamy, a little bit more, uh, a little bit more um, complicated. And you notice we haven't used any distortion yet, We're, you know, which would be a standard thing to make something sound more Just synth. Hang on or... a second, because that's going to oh, be... Oh, I see, I see. What that's you... coming. That's okay, coming. all right, what's well, your turn? What do you got? All right, I think, um, I think this time... Um, a fuzz pedal. Ooh, I have Some kind of that. really oh, gnarly I, distortion. Something I, I have really... A, I got a tone bender, tone bender fuzz. Okay, there you go, tone bender fuzz, kind of with a you know, crank. And then, uh, not volume, but you know what I mean. I got you. Absolutely. Fuzzy fuzz. Uh, maybe going into, um, ooh, what else would be interesting to do? You do have some, uh, other interesting pedals there in the studio. Uh, how about. I'm looking down here at a pile of pedals that I pulled out for the show. How about you're, some you're sort of an envelope filter? An envelope, not the one from the envelope phaser though. Something else. Okay. If gotcha. you have something, if some oh, other yeah. envelope Absolutely. filter, like you have the what do you Absolutely. call it? The, uh, you know, the one that has all the million filters on it. Uh, the, I've got the line six or the uh, source audio. Right. So I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. Take your pick. Take your okay. pick. Some kind, uh, some kind of filter. Something. You know, sloppy is a filter. Wet. Sloppy, sloppy wet. So. Sloppy wet filter. Okay. So a lot of resonance. Source and, audio. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah. So a uh, fuzz going into that. Mm -hmm. Then um, uh, let and, and let's uh, let's leave the delay out this time and go back to the modulated reverb at the end of that. Oh, modulate so the arena modulated reverb. Yeah, that would yeah, like you did it, and it doesn't have to be as as uh, drippy as it was last time because it's already going to have a lot of there's going to be a lot going on in the front of it. So All right. yeah, some some kind of you know something that sounds big and with a, a fairly long decay, but. Um, Maybe okay. not a maximum decay, you know. Just... All right, all right. I'll uh, I might switch to guitars too, possibly. Uh, why wouldn't you? Yeah, let's try something different. Give a little hollow okay. body sound. Yeah. Yeah. Why we try to make it not sound like a hollow body guitar? Right. Well, I mean, it's a, it's. You know, it's we're kind of reusing a few. We've used delay on a couple times. I mean, really, when you think about it, um, there are uh, there are any number of different combinations of pedals you could use to kind of. Um, do what we're trying to do right but kind of the staples are going to be delays and reverbs right you oh i see to me the staples would be which fuzz which we haven't gotten to an envelope which you want to get to so, so let's find out if those have been more staply or if we're going to the the, the new staples to the new staples yeah, yeah. the new staple I, and that or we can go to office depot i really don't have a preference whichever whichever is closer is what i, That's I, what I say to whichever me. one's closer all right and i'm going to bring the ebo Ah, excellent. That's something we haven't touched on either. Is there are other there are other things you can do? Ebo being one, a slide. I'll, I'll bring uh, both. Slide. I'll bring an Ebo right. and a slide. Um, That'll be mm -hmm. great. Let's uh, let's do this thing. We're gonna use the magic. You ready? And we're back. 
All right, I'm gonna play something different. Let's play the Gretsch. 6120, actually it's a hot rod. 6120HR hot rods, which is stripped down Brian Setzer specced out version. If you wanna know more about that, I'll gladly tell you, but I bet you don't, I bet you just wanna hear the effects. So let's get to that. Uh, still got my volume. I forgot what I, uh, what I, uh... <laughs> even though it was just a micro. Oh no, there was, a, it's a fuzz. Yes. A filter. Yes. And a delay. Yes. Okay. No, reverb. Reverb. But, I knew, but reverb. I knew that you'd secretly want a delay, so I added one. So there's actually okay. four all right. pedals. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to, all right, I get four. I get a bonus. And I bonus, see bonus delay. So we've I got the, the tone bender, the new tone bender from, uh, from, uh, Sola Sound slash Boss, the Wazacraft Tone Bender. We, we've done a review on that. That'll show up right there. A link. Uh, we've got the Manta bass filter, the Manta bass filter from uh, the Sound Blocks 2 from uh, Source Audio. We did a review on that up there. Uh, we've got the TC Electronics Arena reverb on the modulation reverb that he adores. And then we've got the Delarian delay, one of my favorite delays, uh, which is in the, that's the headlights that you're seeing glaring yeah. at you. They're on high beams. This guy's a real jerk. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Of course, we love Nick and the guys at VVCO. They do some great stuff. And there's the link for the review on the Delarian. So be sure to check that out. Plus it lights up so pretty. How can you not want it on your board, right? So that's where we're at. How do you want the, I, I actually, I took the liberty of setting up a setting. Okay. Sounding up a sound. Yeah. So let me play that one for you and see what you think. Yeah, yeah. And then if we need to tweak, we'll tweak. Certainly the most aggressive of the ones we've used so far. It's Vitor uh, and the Snow Dog. Is it it, it kind of <laughs> is. Um, uh, the fuzz is perfect right where it's set because that's like that's a good dirty fuzz. Yeah. Um, the filter could be wetter. Wetter. Okay. Whoa. Wetter. Uh, wetter. All right. Uh, okay. Let me try this. And... So if it's got like a if it, it's if it's got a what do you call it a uh, sensitivity knob. Uh, I don't know whether you need to go up or down, but make it make it where it's easy to easy to trigger. And uh, and otherwise, yeah, just give it some slurp. And the delay and the reverb sounds great. Okay, all right. I think let's try this. an interesting little uh i like that a lot yeah that's uh that, that's, uh, that's when different. i feel my mouth moving around with the i'm low making face fish yeah. faces i'm like oh this is a good sound because I'm, I'm i'm doing this i'm talking through the guitar <laughs> Bonus hollow body feedback.
that's nice. That's really nice. I like that. A lot. I like that a lot. It's fun to play. It feels great. All right, now I did bring out the uh, the slide and the Ebo. So you know what the heck we're here, right? Let's let's give that a shot. Now, if you're not familiar with the Ebo, it's an electromagnet that it's like a reverse pickup, and what it does is vibrates your your set your your strings without you touching them. So there's two little grooves uh, that you put on either side of the string that you want to vibrate, and the one you want to vibrate goes down a channel in the middle. When you turn it on, there's a little light. There's two different modes. One takes it to an octave harmonic. It vibrates it twice as fast, I guess, and takes it to an octave. It sounds well. There's no way to describe it. It, it Sort of sounds like an, an electronic bow, right? It's supposed to sound mm -hmm. sort of like that, but it's its own thing. So let's see what it does. I won't use the volume pedal right now. I may bring it in a little bit, but for now, I'll leave it on. I felt like I needed to communicate with the whales. So I just thought I'd just take that out of the show. I'm so sorry you people had to see that, but. I think I that hurt. To, I, I got it out now, the message is out. I, what the heck was that? What the heck was that? When I would I get the Ebo, get it and vibrate and then touch the Ebo to the string, which you're not supposed to do. So that's lesson number 87. Never, don't, never listen to the rules. Don't do what you're supposed to do. Do yeah, weird never, things and you'll never, find, never listen to the rules. It's you'll a, find sounds. And listen for our new coming. single, Whale Song, coming out right. very shortly. Slide. Let's try the slide. This is one of my uh, one made by my mom. My mom's a, uh, an artist that works in three dimensions, and so she decided to make me some out of clay to see if they'd work. They are eccentric in shape. They're not exactly perfect because they're hand done, but when you find the right side, oh man, they give us a, a certain cool sound. I really like. Them. That's the right side. <laughs> Very interesting. Banging on the guitar. Don't do that, but do that sometimes. Do weird right. things. Flip your, your neighbor up. No, flip your whammy bar. Uh, try a slide. 
There, well, there's also tons of um, instructional videos I've seen, and and they're useful too that uh, tell you how what order you should put your effects in. Right. So and, do the opposite of what they say. Uh, you know, I mean, right. there's a there's a reason to do them the way they want if you're just trying to use individual effects, or if you just you know. I'm trying to cop traditional Even songs. on my main board, the delay is the last pedal, and the tuner and the compressor are the first pedal. So, right. it's, you know, there are there are certain things, but there's no there's no reason that you have to do it that way. There's no rules. Uh, there's no rules. It, my rule is if it sounds good, it is good, right? And 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 experiment because you don't know. I mean, I didn't know that that's what this would sound like. You know. That's that's a cool sound. I would never have thought of that if Reg hadn't gone, hey, try this. Because I wouldn't go, let's look for that synthesizer seagull sound. You know? Right, right. <laughs> you know, or whatever. But there it is, and, and you're inspired by the sound. You go, ooh, and now I want to put that down, record it, or play it with a band, or just sit there and noodle with it for half an hour because you like the sound of it. Anyway, inspiring, very cool. I like that one. Uh, a lot of possibilities with those pedals. Very cool idea. I think this is something we should continue. Let's come back to this uh, in another episode. Let's come back to this in part two and, uh, and see what you guys think. Sound good, Reg? I think it sounds great. Yeah, very cool. Okay, well, we'll do that next time. And uh, thanks, everybody, for joining us for another episode of Gear and Gigs. We'll see you next time. For Jet, I'm Reg. Oh, wait. Strike that. Reverse it. All right, take care, everybody. Bye.